Hello, YouTube. Hello, hello. Uh, we're on an intermission at the Seth Kaibel Quintet, but we're going to jump back in in a few minutes. So if you find our stream for the second half, welcome. <laughs> I think this field actually works. Oh, it's good. Run it silent and then plug in like accidentally or something by the way. How many mics are you using to the field? The two of them. Quick little hello to our Using all four of the overheads. I'm using all four of the overheads. I'm going to start using this one too. Maybe check our webpage out also. As loud as he is, it's not coming through. On the sound very well. So, yeah, anyway, we're, we're glad you're here and we're continuing checking this out. Seth has a very active presence on social media. So Especially when he's playing the flute. About him and his other product, projects on Facebook in addition to the other, um, other avenues. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Anne's going to take a few more minutes of our mission and then we'll jump in for the second half. But, um, uh, yes. Yeah, the signal, the Wi-Fi died on the uh, YouTube. It just blipped. I think it, it interrupted, and then it had that trouble connecting. So I started a second YouTube uh, feed, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Facebook feed seems to be going well. So that's what. That's what no, no, I'm, no, that's from the laptop. I'm just with the better mic. Uh, for later, uh, like for later. For later. Right. This, this is, is not going. It's not going anywhere. You're just doing this. Yes, and any of y'all that were watching on YouTube, I did start a second year. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of awesome. If you want to go around and play, right. play with it and see if it's coming through better, that's cool. It seems to be coming through on our devices. So, but yeah, the Wi Fi. Um, Every now and again, but the digital devices that have a, uh, a phone connection are still rolling through that um, with a little hesitation every now and again. But, but yeah, the, uh, the YouTube device is still doing as well. So check it out. Let us know. So, Ellie, totally up to you when he wants to go back. We're, we're flexible. Oh, whatever. If you're ready, go for it. All right. I mean, Joey does have another gig in like three months, so we got to make sure that. Well, you know, are you walking to California for it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Same here. <laughs> that drum kit's going to get heavy. <laughs> oh, it already is. Don't miss it. Yeah, just take that. I'm going to. All right, band coming back on. Part two. We all back.
with you. When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Except if you're outside or in public because you should be wearing your mask, in which case people can't tell if you're smiling. All right, so those of you who have stuck around since the first set, thank you for sticking around from the first set. Those of you who are just joining us, thank you for just joining us. My name is Seth Bibel. We are here as part of this wonderful virtual concert series brought to you by the Potomac River Jazz Club, hosted here in the beautiful and acoustically pleasing sanctuary of Cavalry Lutheran Church in Silver Spring, Maryland. Once again to the bandstand, we summon our fabulous vocalist, Flo Anita. I'm sorry, we request your presence. Great virtual events like this. First of all, you can like 
You can comment and you can share. Remember, sharing is caring when we're talking about virtual live streams, not like saliva and, you know, body space and, and stuff like that. No, ew, no. But sharing, sharing live streams, that's acceptable. That's CDC approved. Go ahead and do it. Uh, and then if you are so fortunate as to have excessive disposable income, you can send a donation through the PayPal link indicated both in the event description and the comments uh, to support the Potomac River Jazz Club and musicians like those you see before you right now. All right, let's do another song. Dream a little dream.
Thank you. Thank you. Flo and Nito, ladies and gentlemen. Well, last set, we did a little... We're going to bring Flo back. I promise. I promise. Um, or it's a promise or a threat, depending on how you feel uh, about her. Anyway, um, last set, we did just a little smattering of Jewish klezmer music. So what we're going to do now is a song that kind of... Uh, combines the worlds of American jazz and swing and Eastern European Jewish klezmer music. It's the center of that Venn diagram between those two genres. It's a song with a long and peculiar history. I'm not going to go into it now. That's why Google was invented. But the short version is this song originates in the Yiddish Theater of Manhattan, 1932, written by the great composer of the Yiddish Theater, Sholom Sekunda. But it finds its way through a rather circuitous roundabout route into the hands of a trio of singing sisters from Minnesota with the last name of Andrews. This song, of course, is The Bear Miss the Train. No, that's not right. Another beer for Sean Lane. No, 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 that's definitely not right. That's right. By mere bistu shame.
sort of mood these days. And uh, here's another tune that he wrote towards the end of his career when he was living as an expat in France. And he called this one, Si tu vois ma mère, or If You See My Mother. Don't tell her where I am. <laughs> uh, Sean, can you do some kind of intro for us?
Thank you. Uh, we're going to bring Flo and you know back to the stand for our final two songs of the afternoon. You know, uh, when us jazz musicians are constantly mining uh, the rich repertoire of the great American songbook. And when we talk about the great American songbook, we tend to talk mostly about men. Uh, but indeed, there were some wonderful women who were contributors to the great American songbook. And to this day, uh, many of them don't get their just due. Uh, this next song is a great example of it. The song is Willow Weep For Me. And it was written by a great uh, songwriter by the name of Anne Rennell. Uh, Anne Rennell was actually born with the name Anne Rosenblatt, uh, but at the suggestion of her mentor, a guy who had originally been named Jacob Gershowitz and then became George Gershwin, she changed her name from Rosenblatt to Rennell. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, this was one of her big hits. Uh, her other really big hit, the other song that The other song that really kept the checks coming year after year, that really made her, kind of, kind of, I'm sure made her a whole lot of money. Anyone know what it, you know what it is, Flo? You know what her other big hit is? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? That's Disney money right there. I bet that uh, those were nice checks. Anyway, this is not that song. This is Willow Week for me. Say that love. 
Round and pull on me. When the shadows fall.